Hey everyone, Anthony Benuti with In Touch Mortgage Solutions. Hope everyone's being safe and everyone is doing well out there with the uh, spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus. I know this is a big topic right now and we've been getting a lot of calls in regards to the mortgage marketplace, the rates, what's happening with real estate. Uh, before we get into the video, I just wanna say a big thank you to all the medical staff, the nurses and doctors and first responders out there. Uh, thank you very much as you're putting your lives in danger every single day to help the entire world and communities stay safe. So with that being said, uh, we'll start off with what sort of changes happened already and what we're seeing. So on March 4th, the Bank of Canada reduced its monetary rate, its overnight policy rate by 50 basis points, which went from 1.75 to 1.25%, translated into the prime, which was 3.95, going to 3.45 of 50 basis points reduction. Now, Depending on your financial institution, you would have felt that change. They would have automatically given the full 50%, uh, 50 basis points, sorry, to you. And you would have saw that maybe change in your current mortgage payment, or you'll see that you'll probably be getting a notice if you're on a variable rate mortgage, or if you have a home equity line of credit or any credit solution that is based on the variable or adjustable rate. Um, but once again, it all depends on the financial institutions. Most of the ones that we're working with, we've seen that change go through. Uh, then on Friday, we saw the Bank of Canada in emergency measures again uh, reduce its policy rate from 1.25 to 75 basis points. So that basically was another 50 point reduction changing within a week 1%. Uh, that is a big jump. Um, so first and foremost, uh, the banks are adapting to these changes. Um, we haven't ever experienced anything this quickly and rapidly change. So um, it, there's a lot of speculation out there what's happening. Uh, but I can tell you firsthand from what we're seeing from our lenders, and this is strictly uh, from a, a case by case example, is that lenders are starting to adjust. And that means uh, rather than seeing variable rate discounts that are prime minus a huge amount, we're seeing, you know, some rates going prime minus a smaller amount, um, as well as some lenders going prime plus. It, it is all dependent on the lender. It all depends on the product. But we're starting to see them adapt. They do, we we're writing history right now. So you know, we have to give them the benefit of the doubt as we start to work through uh, because we want to make sure that the banks are here for the long run and that you know, they're doing the right thing for consumers. Uh, the most important part is, is that some of the fixed rates have also jumped a little bit, but I always say to our clients, there's no, no time to panic because when you're looking at the rates over a longer period of time, we're still sub three and we're still in a very good rate environment. Um, with everything happening right now, uh, it's important to not get too over concerned with, you know, what's going to happen with your mortgage rate, uh, especially when it comes to renewals and refinances. Um, as I said, that is something that we are still yet to determine. Uh, but we do get a lot of calls in regards to saying, you know, should I renew now? Should now is a good time to refinance? You know, yes, if you're paying anything over 3% for your mortgage, now is a good time to still consider uh, refinancing that mortgage, maybe paying out some of those debts if you're carrying them at a higher cost. It all depends on your financial situation. Uh, there's always someone here at InTouch Mortgage Solutions to help and give you answers to those questions. But uh, some of the other questions that we're getting in regards to our clients is, you know, what happens if I, you know, or now that I've maybe been laid off or lost my job, uh, what, what happens, right? And uh, today, uh, March 16th, the uh, government basically came out and said that there are provisions that they're implementing. We're going to be getting some more information in the days to come, so stay tuned in regards to how that's going to help small businesses and people that are, you know, being really impacted by these changes and these isolations and these quarantines and basically businesses shutting down. Uh, so that will come for those of you that have uh, mortgages that are insured, so through Canada Guarantee, Gen Worth, or or uh, CMHC, you do have provisions in place through the insurance provider for financial hardships, uh, for deferral of payments. All you need to do is contact your lender or your mortgage broker or your insurance provider and get more information through them. And they'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, as I said, we're looking at a different way of you know living right now. Uh, we're all going through the same thing uh, where you know we're practicing social distancing, trying to work from home. So one thing is that the lenders are no different. Uh, they're adapting policies that are previously, you know, you go into the office and now you have to work from home. So how are the lenders adapting and making this transition? So expect a little bit of delays if you're in the process of putting an offer or there, you know, there's a, there's a conditional period because, you know, you also have the 
potential for an appraisal that may be required if the lender doesn't auto approve it. So you need to be prepared for that where there might be some delays because there is an individual that would have to come out to the house. So some of the appraiser companies are, are adapting new policies as well. So, you know, those are things that are changing. We're basically saying there's no need to panic. It's business as usual. We've gotten those confirmations from our lenders. You know, they're still there to serve us and serve you. So if you have any questions regarding your mortgage financing needs or anything to do with, you know, trying to access, you know, funds in your, in your home and trying to make life a little bit easier, always feel free to reach out to someone at InTouch Mortgage Solutions. We're always here to help. Thanks and have a great day.